If there is a king of deadly Pythetter encounters, it's me. Whether it's because I'm removing them from people's homes, treating injured ones, or exploring the wilderness, I'll be taking you from fear to fascination in this video. And to kickstart off our journey, it's time to go remove two highly venomous Pythetters that are hidden on someone's property. And thankfully, the first Pythetter was really easy to find. However, removing them is a different story. After I pulled this box back, I thought for the worst this poor Puffetter is dead because she got stuck to the tape. But thankfully after a little touch with the hook stick she did move and it gave me hope that she'll still be alive. Mm, this sucks. Oh, you can see she's stuck on that tape there. Okay. okay. Where's the tongue though? Oh, I'm gonna do this now. So you see that's ripped all the skin open there. Don't pull on it, don't pull on it. Shame. Now this is incredibly difficult. I do not have the tools to actually take the snake off here without hurting her. So I'm trying to be as gentle as possible without putting myself at risk. But thankfully I always get the job done. Right. Shame man, I don't know if this one will make it. We'll check later on to see how she's doing. Okay. Alright, let's go check the other spots. Where you said you saw them and see if we can find the others, alright? Alright, so I've got another puff header hiding right under there. We're gonna put him in the tub. Alright, you can put it down for now. And there you go, now we got two. We've got a lot more to check. Unfortunately, this girl will have to stay with me for a while as I have to keep her wounds clean and disinfected until they have healed. As for the other one though, we can release him back in the wild. Slide her up. She's quite nice and dark, as you can see. Put her down here gently, and there she goes. What a beautiful snake. And now it's time to take on the challenge of finding a puffeter in the wild, where camouflage is the name of the game out here, and the puffeter is the king of this game. I'm pretty much doing is I'm walking around, I've got my hook stick and I'm going to shrubs like this and I'm just opening them up with the hook stick just like that and hopefully that way I can spot the puffeters out. They have a very typical chevron pattern however it is a bit of a twin sided blade because that camouflage is really good so even though they're right there in front of your eyes if you don't pick up on that pattern you're a little too close so i've got to be careful another method obviously is i'm looking around for rocks and flipping up the rocks however it's a bit scary to do that because you can't always see where your fingers are and you don't want to get bit that way either so we've got to keep our eyes sharp all right guys this is exactly what i mean you might not believe me but in this bush right now is one of africa's most notorious venomous snakes the puff adder they're a camouflage is exactly why they're responsible for so many bites. People can't see them, they step on them, and they get bitten. Now I'm gonna pull it out, I'm gonna see if I can put it on the rock here for you guys so you can see her better. Take a look at that. You would not think that was right there in that bush. All right, girl, will you pose nicely for us? Woo! That's the puff header, guys, Beatus Arietans. What a beautiful snake. Can you please face the other way for our audience so everyone can learn about you? As you can see, they have no interest in us really, no interest in hurting us. She just wants to go and hide, despite the fact that she's incredibly dangerous. She has enough venom to kill up to four people, but you can see she has no interest in killing me. She only wants to use her venom for hunting, and if she really needs to, she'll use it for self-defense. Pythetas have one of the fastest strikes in the animal kingdom. Pythetas can strike so fast, they can even strike multiple times in a second. Check this out. They strike so fast, if you blink, you'll miss it. So let me slow it down for you, just in case. There's only about two snakes in the world that strike faster than them. The Death Adder from Australia and the Saw Scale Viper all the way from Upper Africa to India. Quite scary. These snakes are known to be able to strike multiple times in a second, oftentimes envenomating people more than once in a single encounter. It's quite scary actually. I have to say, puffetters have one of the worst concoctions of venom on this entire planet. They have a mix of a highly necrotic cytotoxic venom causing your skin and flesh to rot away all the way to the bone. On top of that, they have hemotoxins attacking your blood and they also have cardiotoxins affecting the heart. A lot of people after being bitten by a puffetter 
who oftentimes just pass out. They could die from kidney failure, anaphylaxis, or even just really bad infection. That's pretty disgusting. But thankfully, she may be one of Africa's most dangerous animals, but as you can see, she has no interest in hurting me. She's not even puffing like their name suggests. She's just trying to get to a bush so she can hide away. What a beautiful snake. I think I'll put her right back where I found her and she can continue to live her life as she wants to. That's the amazing puffer, guys. I'm so happy. And actually, I think she's going to go to a rock here. Look at that. Look how long she is. Okay, go before you go there, please just let me move out the way. <laughs> there you go. I hope this video lets you guys see puffetters in a better light. And if you really enjoyed it, then be sure to check out my other video where I'm hands-on with Africa's most lethal snake.